Hey there, my loves. This is Jana here. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to make a beautiful, delicate dish that it's uh, so gorgeous. Um, we're going to make um, a white lasagna, a greenish lasagna because it has a uh, zucchini and mushrooms and peas. And this is beautiful. This is easy to make as everything we make here on the channel with everyday ingredients, but the way we put it together is going to be unbelievable. All right, so we start by sauteing some mushrooms that I have already chopped in quarters with some salt and pepper. And then you wait for the mushrooms to get really, really uh, golden brown because that is the flavor of uh, the mushrooms. If you don't do this step, your mushrooms are going to taste pretty tasteless and that's not good. Now, we're going to cut the zucchinis in uh, small, uh, in thin slices, and then we're going to also saute them. But if you wanna skip, uh, skip this part, you can bake it in the oven. That's also fine until they are golden brown. But this step, hear me out, children. It's very important because zucchini is practically water. So if you don't remove all the water that they have, your lasagna is going to be a soup. <laughs> and we're gonna make lasagna, not soup, not this time. So please be diligent on this step. Make sure that they have that uh, beautiful uh, golden brown crust and then we are safe and our lasagna is gonna look good and put together. And while you're sauteing the zucchini, don't forget to add salt because the salt pulls out moisture from the vegetables. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and make a bechamel, which I have made countless times in this channel, on this channel. I love bechamel, and I love how versatile it is. So uh, let's start with the vegan butter. If you have vegan butter, fine. If you don't, you can make it with margarine, or you can make my vegan butter. I'm gonna leave it on the cards over here. Super easy to make. And uh, so let's make the bechamel. We're going to melt the vegan butter. Once it's melted or almost melted, we're going to add flour, about the same ratio for both. And now you stir for two, three minutes, maybe four, because we wanna make sure that this flour is cooked through. And then we're going to add little by little unsweetened plant-based milk. I always use unsweetened soy milk because it's my preference. Uh, it's the one I like the most, but you can use any plant-based milk of your preference but they have to be unsweetened. And you gotta be sure because sometimes they say that it's unsweetened, but they still add some vanilla essence to it, which I hate when they do that, because I don't know if people that make food knows that the milk is not only for drinking, it's also for cooking, so that's pretty annoying. So make sure they don't have any vanilla essence or any uh, sugar whatsoever. Now we're going to add some nutmeg, as much as you like. I love nutmeg, salt, white pepper, and you can add some nutritional yeast if you want. And now it's the fun part. We're going to assemble the lasagna. We're going to add a little bit of bechamel sauce on the bottom so the lasagna sheets don't get stuck. I'm using homemade lasagna sheets, but you can use the one of your preference. Just make sure that they're vegans. And uh, on top of that, we put a little bit more of bechamel sauce. that uh, vegan white mozzarella cheese that we made the other day. So I'm gonna leave the recipe here. That's what I used here. I had just a little bit left, so I chopped it and I put it here and there. And then you sprinkle the mushrooms uh, with the, uh, the peas uh, and then you keep going until you have nothing left. I have a tip for you. Once you're making a lasagna, choose small, tall uh, oven um, dishes. Uh, as opposed to big, large, and shallow ones, because your lasagna is going, to look, is going to look much nicer if you have a tall, big, fat, beautiful lasagna, other than that, you know, very skinny and flat one. I don't think it's nice.
So now that everything is assembled and looking so beautiful, you, you reserve the most beautiful zucchinis to put it on top because it's going to be how you, uh, your dish is going to be presented. So it needs to not only be delicious, but it needs to look delicious. So save the beautiful ones for that. And also if you have some vegan uh, Parmesan cheese, you can put on top. I had just a little bit on my fridge, so I put it in and uh, uh, straight in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. That will be 360, 350 Fahrenheit. And uh, keep an eye on it. We want a very beautiful golden brown top. absolutely love when the food comes out as beautiful as you pictured in your head and this is one of those you put it on the table it it, it wows people uh, I think it's very delicate and I think it's it's very uh, easy to please because it's um, it has these uh, like I said it's it's delicate it's a feminine dish I think in my opinion so this is it for today I hope you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel it helps to grow a lot we are 80,000 followers that's crazy we're gonna get a hundred thousand very soon I hope it depends on you have you subscribed please do and don't forget to uh, follow me on my social media uh, Instagram and Facebook tag me if you make it and uh, apart from that enjoy it and be happy and I see you next week take care of each other bye bye